There are four rules that you have to remember when you see Japanese macaques in Japan. Number one. Hello, this is Mihai and I live in Tohoku, Japan. I love animals, all kinds of animals, big or small, except centipedes or any other similar creatures that have many legs and move too fast for my brain to process what they want to do or where they want to go. Yeah, drone was way down, but my head I have nothing against them, I just walk away from them, but it's it's not easy to, to look at them. I have a story to tell you. Okay, Mia, can I explain this? So what he's trying to explain is that if this is Aomori, this is Cape Tapi. This is the northernmost part of Tsugaru Peninsula and this is where he went. This side over here, this is called Cape Oma and is the northernmost part of Honshu. That would be Japan's main island. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, he's, uh, he's my twin brother, Florin. He sometimes helps me with my projects. A few weeks ago, I was driving towards Cape Tapi, but this was my first time when I took the Prefectural Road 281. Usually I take the National Road 339 that is uh, going along the coast. This Road 281, that is also called Hydrangea Road, is filled with multicolored hydrangea flowers on both sides of the road. If you go there between July and September, please try 281. You'll be amazed how beautiful it is. <clears throat> okay, he's not gonna tell you about how beautiful Cape Tapi it is and when he went by bicycle in winter to Cape Tapi. No, he has a very cute story that he learned a lesson from. So, listen to him. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I was driving towards Chokandai Observatory deck when I saw these monkeys lying and relaxing on the road. I was not surprised as the first time when I came to Japan and saw monkeys in the trees, but... Oh, oh one more thing. By the way, when he first came to Japan, he didn't even know about the three wise monkeys, the monkey and the crab, or other stories like Momotaro. Let alone that monkeys live just like that in their natural habitat in the forests of Japan. Right. Right? Right, um, true. For me, the monkeys were supposed to live in the zoos. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw them wild and free in the forests of Japan. I would like to let you know what I learned since I met these, uh, these monkeys. Apparently, they have been in Japan for more than 300,000 years. That would be long before the humans arrived here. At the moment, there are about 150,000 Japanese macaques. Konnichiwa. Nani shite masu ka? Achi? Sochi ikeba ino? Oh, narodo. Ja, itikimasu. Mata ne. The Japanese macaques that live in the Shimokita Peninsula, that would be the north side of Tohoku, are the northernmost population of monkeys in the world. The Japanese macaques have a larger brain than other monkeys. They have their own language, which is determined by the location of their environment, and each troop is ruled by a dominant alpha male or alpha female, unless a stronger alpha male arrives. Yeah, that would be you. Not really. The Japanese macaques are seen in Japan as cute, playful animals. And one of them actually became famous after it was seen in a commercial listening to the, one of the first Walkman that has ever been made. And he really looked human. 
sometimes they're seen as pests that destroy Whoa. crops and steal food from people. In some places like Niko or Guma, they have been seen uh, stealing people's bags and wallets and taking the coins from the wallets and buying snacks and drinks from the vending machines. Now let's get back to the Tsugaru Peninsula where I met that alpha male. When I saw those cuties just lying there on the street, I said I have to go record them. So I took my phone, I slowly got out of the car and I started walking towards this um, mother and its cub that were on top of this concrete wall on the left side of the road. The mother was breastfeeding the cub and while I was going slowly towards her, she suddenly started screaming and looking over her, her shoulder. Okay, take a break. Read a, read a script. Um, there are four rules that you have to remember when you see Japanese macaques in Japan. Number one, don't feed them. Number two, don't touch them. Number three, don't make fun of them. And number four, don't stare into their eyes. Right, so he's right. When the mother started screaming, this big monkey jumped into the street and it started running and barking after me. I just ran. And I ran as fast as I could and thanks God I went to that marathon last year because when I arrived at the car I was so fast I was about to break the handle of my car's door. Yeah, that was really foolish. Good job. I continued to look at those cubs with their mothers playing around the, the road. I really hoped that I could hold one of those cubs in my hand someday. Yeah, you wish. Mm, maybe not. I have learned that the Japanese macaque, they even wash their food in rivers or sea before eating them. Their fights are vocal, rarely physical. Their bites can infect humans with herpes type B and can be fatal if not treated. They don't drive humans away when they don't see them as a threat. And the little monkey cubs have been seen making snowballs and playing in the snow. Does your mother know what you wanted to do? 